a fan of uh, British pragmatism and I hope that you have learned this lesson as far as the point comes back that the United Kingdom is taking the necessary decisions. You're smiling but I, I suppose the question from the British point of view is there is no indication right now that Theresa May can find a pathway toward an orderly agreed Brexit. Are you sending a signal that if by October 31st Britain remains in this Brexit mess, there will be another extension on offer? I'm sending the signal, please come together and start with something which might be absolutely new to the British system of parliamentary system, because you have not really the experience of bipartisan cooperation, but this is what is needed in a national question of like this. and. Uh, you know, let me ask it another way. I mean, some politicians in Europe, like Emmanuel Macron in France, and indeed the former Belgian Prime Minister Guy Verhofstadt just today, have indicated they believe that the continued uncertainty and the continued toxicity of this British argument about how to leave the European Union is actually damaging, deeply damaging to the European Union. Do you agree? No. I think that uh, the Brexit, the tensions, the trade tensions we see in the world, uh, unilateralism is something like a catalyst for working very hard on getting a better European Union and a more integrated European Union. So I see the opposite. Uh, my, I, I think that it is necessary that uh, the British Parliament is taking a decision and I hope it will be very soon. It will do so very soon. And I know that the Brexit is one of the questions which are a difficulty for world economy. When I was in Washington last week, I discussed with the IMF and all the other people, anyone agreed that these questions of politically made, man-made uncertainties, like the trade tensions between the United States and China, like the Brexit, are one of the reasons for the slower growth in world economy, because all the entrepreneurs all over the world wait for them to, to cease. And when the end of this the uncertainties could be seen, I think they will start seeing investment again. And this is the reason why anyone in his forecasts about Germany, about the European Union, about the world economy is saying that there will be a better growth in the end of this year and the next year because anyone is hoping that the tensions will decrease and that, that the man-made political uncertainties will vanish. I'm so lonely